A lot of people confuse nice and kind as being the same thing, but they're not. You can be kind and not nice. You could still upset people when being kind. Today, I'm going to talk about the differences between the two and share which is the healthiest as we're learning to set boundaries with people and be emotionally healthy after divorce. But first, welcome or welcome back. I'm Jen Grice, a divorce mentor and empowerment coach guiding women to surviving and thriving after divorce. You can find out more about my ministry, coaching for women, and my books at jengrice.com. While you're working on your healing after divorce, one of the biggest lessons we can learn, especially as we practice boundaries, is knowing the difference between nice and kind. I'll break it down for you. Being nice. Let's say you have a friend or relative who has a drug dependence. It's very nice of you to give them money and to point them to the nearest drug dealers in order to buy their drug of choice and encourage them to keep doing the drugs and using you for whatever they need. Nice people enable. Another example of being nice is a parent who buys their child's love. A parent who wants to make the child happy without concern about how they'll grow up. To be entitled, impatient, condescending, and a manipulative adult. What's the new word for that these days? Affluenza. That is what Wikipedia said. The term affluenza has been used to refer to the inability to understand the consequences of one's action because of financial privilege. You rescue them from their own consequences. So they never learn how to deal with life in a healthy way. We're actually hurting them by being nice. This is not kind at all, but it's what many classify as being nice and kind to people. Just to be clear, Jesus wasn't nice either. He told them that they couldn't follow him because they weren't willing to give up something like wealth or family. Jesus even called people Satan and even wasn't nice to Satan himself. He overturned tables in his anger about sin and even walked away from people who needed him and didn't come as soon as they asked. He made them be patient and wait. He had firm boundaries because he had a mission here on earth. And being nice to people was not his purpose or his mission. No, instead of being nice, Jesus was kind. Being kind is so much harder than being nice. Nice people appease other people, often pretending to be their friend when they're really not. A real loving friend will be kind instead of nice. What does being kind look like? Kind can actually look mean to some people, especially those who are taking advantage of others, especially us Christians and people who have fruits of the Spirit, to get what they want. Instead, we need to remember that Jesus wasn't nice either, and the fruit of the Spirit is not niceness, it's kindness. Being kind is being loving yet firm. It's not enabling someone to continue in a certain way or cause harm to themselves or others or ruin their future by allowing them to get away with things when they're younger or because they have money. You can be kind and say, no, I'm not going to help you or enable you. Instead of being nice and saying, here's cash to be irresponsible with, we say, how can I help you get back on your feet and learn from this experience? If you feel the need to help, which we all should as good Samaritans, make sure you're giving a hand up and not a hand out, especially to somebody who can help themselves and carry their own load. Helping someone is not allowing them to continue in their destruction. As an example, I can think of a time early in my adulthood when I quit my job and moved across the state to a new city. It wasn't very good with my family finances and I needed help. I was in debt and wasn't able to pay my bills. Instead of someone handing me money and offering to pay all of those debts, I was offered financial counseling instead. That is the best way someone ha could have ever helped me in that moment. I carry all that I learned in those weeks of financial counseling. And right now, beyond my student loans, I have no other debt. That includes medical bills, credit cards, car loans, or anything because I learned how to keep myself out of debt. And I think about all of this like the quote, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. That's what somebody did for me when they didn't pay my bills, but they taught me how to pay my own bills. And like I said, the Bible talks about carrying your own load, not dumping your load onto other people to take. Help someone like the Good Samaritan, but don't 
don't enable someone who refuses to carry their own load as they are well enough to do. I think there's a real difference between the person who refuses to carry their own load and the person who's unable. There is a difference. But that doesn't mean we enable someone who has mental health issues, personality disorders, or addictions. As I share in another video, they can and should seek help, get on the right track, and carry their own load. Refusing to get help is something that you don't want to enable. We can be kind to someone and still say, no, I'm not going to rescue you from this problem, the same problem you keep getting yourself into and not getting help for. Remember, being nice would be saying, sure, I can keep helping, helping you with this and take care of you. So don't be nice, be kind. Lastly, because I talk about abuse and divorce, I want to say these things can and should be used in marriages as well. A lot of women were brought up to believe that being a helpmate or helpmeet means we're supposed to be meek, sweet, and especially nice to our husbands and other people, especially men. I don't think the Bible teaches that at all. We have to look to Jesus for the example. Jesus wasn't nice to his own family. He was kind, but he wasn't nice. Read the end of Mark 3. Jesus's mother and brothers came to see him but he didn't even acknowledge them as family because his di disciples had become his new family. He didn't run to them. He didn't say, bring them to me, hurry. His focus was on what he was put on this earth to do. I mean, his mom did re request him to use his power to turn water into wine. And what did he say to her? Woman, why do you involve me? Added note here, he wasn't being disrespectful when he said that, but he wasn't being nice either. He was asking her why she was, why he was being asked to do this before his hour had come. This was his first miracle, and maybe he didn't know if it was the right time for that, but he did it anyway. The point I hope you get is this, learn more about Jesus. When people say, what would Jesus do? And say, turn the other cheek. The Bible and Jesus didn't doesn't expect you to be a doormat. Jesus wasn't one. He was kind and firm. You could and should be more like him too. So I hope I've encouraged you and empowered you in some way today. Be sure to subscribe so you know when I post the next video. If you have any questions or like to share your story, please do, do so in the comments below. I hope you'll join me there. Okay, take care, be kind, and God bless.